Okay, on one hand, we've got popular streaming services like Netflix, Hulu, Disney+, Apple TV, and everyone knows them. But the problem with these is that they focus on quantity over quality. And on the other hand, we've got free streaming services like Tubi TV, Pluto TV, Sony's Crackle, and it's free and all, but most of the content is rather lacking, and we've seen most of them, so it's hard to sift through and find something that's really good to watch. But yeah, did you know there's streaming services smack in the middle that offer great quality content for a reasonable price, like Movie that gives you 30 selected movies and Crunchyroll for anime and stuff. Look, the point is that there's a bunch of streaming services that don't get enough attention for their quality content. Let's change that. I'm Vamsi from Smart Genius Proxy and here are the best streaming services that are available for a reasonable price. First up, we've got Mubi, which focuses on quality over quantity. It gives you one new movie every day, which says on the platform for 30 days. So if you have 30 days or less to watch a specific movie, you can rent a movie if it's not on the list. The movies are handpicked and have a specifically curated list from all around the world. For instance, as of making this video, we have Blind Mountain from China, 12 Years a Slave from US, Moonlight, John Wick, Moonrise Kingdom, and much more. Just like the most popular streaming services, Mubi also has an app for Android and iOS, which offers offline downloads, syncs, supports for Chromecast, smart TVs, and etc. One more thing though, Mubi also offers obscure films that you wouldn't normally find on Netflix. The membership costs about $11 a month, and it comes with a 30-day free trial, so give it a watch. Shudder. Just like Fando, Shudder isn't available in other countries, so you would need that VPN. Shudder is a platform that handles content pertaining to horror, thrillers, suspense genres. It not only has the database of movies, but a fair amount of exclusives as well, like The Devil. It also produces originals like Riproar, Mayhem, and many more, so you can expect exclusive content at your disposal. Shudder is available on Amazon Fire TV, Apple TV, Chromecast, and Roku streaming players, along with Android and iOS devices. There's a 7-day trial which you can subscribe to an annual membership for about $47.88 annually or monthly for about $5. This Amazon-owned platform also launched IMDb TV which offers high-quality movies and TV shows for free. As of making this video, it has a catalogue of popular movies like Social Network, Gravity, Megamind, Hacksaw Ridge, and even La La Land. Some of the popular TV shows, including Gordon Ramsay's Kitchen Nightmares, The A-Team, Dallas, and etc. The only caveat though is that, just like before, it's only available in US, but you can stream it using a VPN. We did a detailed video on this, so click on the YouTube cards to watch that. Although it does display ads, but the amount of content that is freely available makes it worth a shot. It's easy to access through the IMDb app or a browser and IMDb TV app on Amazon Fire TV Stick. If you've had an IMDb account for a while with a wish list, look for what's free on IMDb TV option. If you're a Bollywood fan, Spool is for you. Next time you feel like you want to watch a Bollywood movie, but you're in a different country feeling helpless, don't be. This Spool is a platform that lets you watch tons of great Bollywood movies. All you have to do is sign in and subscribe. The monthly plan starts at 99 Indian rupees or roughly dollar and a half, which yearly is for about a thousand bucks or $15. You can also consume content offline, stream without ads, I've got to admit though, I found a lot of good movies and I still feel the layout of the website doesn't let me, you know, stay for longer or explore more titles. Are you a fan of Korean or Taiwanese movies or even Japanese for that matter? Well, don't look anywhere else. Wiki is a platform that's a large pool of movies from different Asian countries. Coming from the world as Wiki and video, it aims to bridge the gap between Asian movie lovers and the limitation of language by community subtitling. The platform also offers Wiki originals and exclusive content. There's two plans to choose from, Basic and Standard, which are at $0.83 cents a month and the other one is $4.17 a month. 
Well, the basic offers no ads and streams in HD. Standard goes a step further and lets you have early access to shows. While there's still a geo restriction for certain shows, using a VPN may solve that issue. A lot of platforms listed here have animated movies in the database, but they are not dedicated to it particularly, are they? No. That's where Crunchyroll comes in. It boasts of the world's largest database for anime and manga. In addition to that, it also has completed animated series for famous shows such as Naruto or Dragon Ball Super. For movie buffs who want to take it up a notch, there's a dedicated store to buy merchandise. There's also a dedicated news and anime based game section as well. The catch is that it's got ads, so you have to subscribe to a premium account to block ads and access shows just an hour after the telecast. There's a 14 day free trial and after that it's got two membership options, Premium and Premium Plus, which comes at $8 a month and $12 a month. The difference being that the latter gives you a discount on Crunchyroll store, goodie badges, access to early beta phases and etc. If you don't want to indulge in the hassle of punching in your card details and signing up, Tubi is the platform that lets you do that for free. It has a huge collection of movies and has partnered with studios like you know MGM, Paramount and Lionsgate. The way it works is that it's free by adopting a minimal ad structure, so it displays ads after 15-10 minute intervals which is okay provided you're getting quality content to stream for free. Content is divided under genre like action or crime and collection like say cult, highly rated and stuff, and even features like full moon or docudrama and etc. It's 100% legal so there's no pop-ups or hidden malwares that you have to worry about. You can access Tubi almost on all devices like Roku, PS4, Apple TV etc. So there you go, those were some of our favourite streaming services that we quite liked for a reasonable price. I watch IMDb and Mubi quite a lot, but let me know what your favourite is in the comment section below. As always, I'm Bamzi and check out our other videos that we've done, because there's a bunch of them, in the YouTube cards. I'll see you in the next one.